What's up, baseball players? Today we're going to talk about does fielding position matter in baseball? So lots of coaches preach proper fielding position. You know, and as a pitcher, you've got to obviously, you know, field your position pretty well. But what does fielding your position mean? Is getting into a good fielding position as a pitcher important? All those questions we're going to cover in today's video. So stick around. Okay, so to get into whether fielding position as a pitcher actually matters, let's talk about what your role is as a pitcher as far as fielding your position. Because fielding your position is important, but it's not really ranging left and ranging right and being in this supreme position to be this cat to grab everything. As a pitcher, your job is to field bunts, so to both sides, get anything that's hit in front, in front of you, like a slow roller, a, a swing bunt essentially, cover first base on balls the right side, turn the double plays you're supposed to turn, back up bases, all that stuff. That's part of being a good, effective fielder as a pitcher. The big thing you don't wanna do, and this is why fielding position is a lot of times overstressed, is you don't wanna be in this position so that you can start reaching over into shortstop or second base and taking double play balls away from them. That's the big no-no. Basically, as a pitcher, once you've let everything go, if it's more than arm's width, to either side, the second baseman or shortstop is probably going to be able to get that. If it's obviously like absolutely tattooed, maybe not. But in double play position, the shortstop and second baseman are pinching up the middle. So they're going to be relatively close to balls up the middle. The only ones that they're not going to be able to get to are ones that are pretty much straight up the gate, like a little bit to your left, a little bit to your right. But if it's something you would actually be able to range for, they're going to probably going to be able to get to it. Not to mention that double play balls are typically medium to hard hit ground balls. So you don't want, what you don't want to do is take one of those away from yourself, essentially. By reaching over there, you're going to take away a double play that he is paid to turn. Shortstops are paid to turn double plays. Second basemen are also paid to turn double plays. So with fielding position, this is what we used to teach, which was, all right, we got to like snap back and be ready. That's just unrealistic. Ultimately, as a pitcher, your job is to get hitters out, and that means your delivery should be honed to throw as hard as you possibly can, to spin the best breaking stuff that you can, and to be as easily located as you can. You know, have the best command possible. So you should never build your mechanics trying to do all those things and then also factor in, okay, well, I have to stop early and I have to like reset myself early so I can be in a good feeling position. In reality, your fielding position is your follow through. So if you finish up over here, fine, field the balls wherever you are. But we're not gonna start to adjust our delivery so that we're square to the plate. We're not gonna change the way we naturally produce power so that we're square to the plate. Those things don't really make a lot of sense because then we start to give away a mile per hour or two, we start to give away command, we start to give away spin of our breaking balls so that we can be in fielding position to what, field one ground ball per game, maybe two. I mean, we're stressing fielding position when we're throwing 100 pitches a game and getting maybe one comebacker, right? So why would we be altering our delivery to have such a tiny impact on the game, right? And when we do get comebackers or we do get balls to field, it's typically a bunt, a swinging bunt, something we're going to charge and make a play on, or we're going to cover first base on a ground ball to the right side. The amount of comebackers you get in a season is still, it's, it's always relatively slim, especially compared to how many pitches total you throw. It's maybe 1% of total pitches are gonna become a comebacker. And again, we don't wanna have ourselves in this mindset of, I'm gonna start reaching and ranging out and grabbing balls that our shortstop or second baseman are paid to get, okay? So hopefully this video helped. Obviously fielding position for pitchers is an important concept, but I think there's a lot of misnomers because parents, especially for young players, they see a ball that little Johnny maybe could have fielded and it goes through the middle for a hit and they start thinking about, oh, we gotta fix his fielding position. As a pitcher, it, there's just a tough reaction time, okay? And so when these hearted balls go through, they go through, it's not the end of the world. You wanna field what you can. The guys with better reflexes, with better coordination, they tend to be just better, better fielders. But really the biggest things that matter are fielding your position at the, at the lines, so getting all your bunts, knowing where to go, getting to first base on balls on the right side, not interfering with tailor-made double play balls by overreaching or trying to be, you know, Johnny shortstop on the mound. And then just understanding what you need to do, number one, to be a successful pitcher, which is hone your mechanics to throw hard, to spin good breaking stuff, 
and to command the baseball, okay? I'm Coach Dan Blewett. I hope that you found this video uh, helpful. If you did, be sure to check out my books, my online courses, and subscribe below. All that info is in the channel description uh, and the description of this video here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.